what's up y'all welcome into the channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day you guys this is gonna be your what they don't want you to know okay what don't they want you to know read y'all let's get into it so i was sitting there y'all wasn't even gonna do this reading until spirit started talking to me and i had this like this revelation okay i'm sitting there i'm minding my business y'all yeah, biscuit she's scratching on her scratcher but i'm minding my business and i'm like for one let me tell y'all somebody watching y'all okay that's one okay the hermit and the magician okay but let me tell you this a virgo and a gemini could be significant um, doesn't have to be though. You could be a Virgo, this person could be a Virgo, or you could be a Gemini, or this person could be a Gemini, okay? Or just that energy is significant. So I'm sitting here, like I said, I'm out of my own business. Hold on, you guys, the incense fell over. And um, like God ran something through my mind and he said they're mad because <laughs> it's so petty, y'all. There is somebody that is mad at you because you figured them out. So somebody is mad at you because they try to run game on you or play in your energy some type of way and you call them out. Like you didn't even know you called them out, but God was just, God just like gives you information. Somebody here, you're highly intuitive, highly gifted. Okay. And it's like, you just be knowing things and somebody is mad about that. They're mad at you because you know, okay. Five of Pentacles. They're in the Five of Pentacles energy right now. They're feeling left out and abandoned. Okay. It's two people. It's two people that's mad at you because you know, you, you saw through their BS, like, you know, you, you caught out their games or they, their BS. Okay. They feel like <laughs> they feel outed right now. They feel like, like you, you, you did them wrong. But the thing you called out is the fact that they were in your energy trying to play with you wrong. So somebody's mad because you call them out for playing with you wrong. Like, come on now. Okay. I was like, where they do that at spirit? <laughs> Where they do that at? Okay, the four of pentacles is here. All right. It's like they can't get nothing past you. Like they can't, they can try to hide it all they want. And they always end up coming up short. It's like they can't never get one up over on you. And they're mad about their that. But they're mad at you about it. They like, why they want it? Why they figuring me out? <laughs> you like, huh? <laughs> why was you doing the bullshit? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's that type of a vibe. It's real backwards. It's like you're mad. Okay, the star Aquarius can be significant. <laughs> In your mind, you're like, okay, you're mad at me because I called out the, your bullshit. Because I called out, I call bullshit. That's the game, right? I call bullshit. <laughs> They're mad at you because you call bullshit. You call it. You're like, that's bullshit. And you don't even be knowing what direction, who sent it, where it's coming from. <laughs> you just know it's some bull. And you call it out. And they can't stand it. They're mad. <laughs> they mad at you because you call out their bull. It's like it wouldn't be bull to call out if you wasn't with the shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's somebody that's with the shit. Okay? The nine of wands. Okay? They looking at you like, how dare you call out my bull? Okay? How dare you know what I'm up to? And it keeps hurting them. Look how bandaged. <laughs> Look how bandaged up and bruised they are. Okay? They be coming at you for the war and you be ready. You be like, I see you. <laughs> you may not know who this person is. You may not know exactly what they've done. But it's like, you know, though. It's like you're accurate. Somebody here. You could do what I do and you're very accurate at what it is that you do. And when you do it, you do it with like, with like, you just do it from a purity. Like you just doing what, what you just doing you, you know, <laughs> somebody mad about that. They hate that you be over there using your gift and unintentionally calling them out. Like they be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, want... <laughs> they can't stop. Stand that and they don't want you to know that it even gets to them but the crazy part is i feel like you like they want it to get to you they want you to be mad that you that you're they want how did i feel like they want you to be mad like somebody wants you to be mad because 
they're mad at you for calling out their shit. <coughs> Why? Why? In what world? In what world is I'm going to be mad because you mad that I'm calling you out with the Ten of Cups? They really want that, though. They really want that. They hate when you call them out and then you know you don't call them out. They hate that, too. They hate that God be giving you confirmation on them. They hate it. <laughs> you be like, hey, I see you. Hey, thanks for coming. <laughs> Come again. <laughs> they hate, they feel like you be taunting them. Like you be like, you be taunting them when you call them out. They like this MF gonna call me out. And then tell me, thank you for coming. <laughs> They hate when you do that. They hate that. They like, how dare you? Okay, they be angry. They want you to be angry, but they be angry. It makes them angry. They be so angry when you do this. When you be like, hey, somebody, you could call people out in your readings. Like, I know you in here. You could be, you could be saying some stuff, calling their energy out, and they be in there watching you, and they be like, this MF, you know what I'm saying? They get mad. They be angry. They be talking to the screen and stuff like you can hear them. You know what I'm saying? They be saying all kind of stuff to the screen. I'll fight you. Catch me outside. You know what I mean? <laughs> you be, whole time you be like, la di da Because you don't even, you know? It's weird how this works. But they do. They want you to be mad. They're mad that you know what they up to before, before, while they doing it, before they even do it. You be like, yeah, I know you about to do, 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 do. This person about to do, 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 do. And they be like, how they know that? You be busting them in they plan. Yeah, the two of wands. You be catching them <laughs> while they planning. While they up, I'm hearing up shit's creek without a paddle. Okay. You be telling them, you be wondering, them, you be like, that plan's not going to work. <laughs> they be mad as hell. They can't stand that. They be like, how they know my plan? <laughs> Whole time, you're innocently calling them out. Like, you don't know it's them, but the way God be moving through you, you know. God be telling you. He be telling you, and it be causing a tower for them. <laughs> they can't stand when you be calling them out. They don't want you to know this, though. This is how they feel on the other side. I was sitting there, I was like, God, wait a minute. Okay, they mad because I'm calling them out about they bullshit that they trying to pull on me, but they mad about it. They mad at me. Why don't they be mad at they self that they even trying to pull the stuff in the first place? Don't be mad at me. Because really, if you mad at me, you mad at God. Like, they hate it. They like, well, they sure enough hate when you tell them that. When you say, like, y'all not mad at me, you mad at God. Because what you're doing is you, like, everything they sending you, you just take it and you hand it over to your father. Like, here you go, daddy. This what, is this what the karmic sent me today. <laughs> this is what the enemy tried to project onto me today. Here you go. If it's for me, God, give me what I'm supposed to have. You know, you have a somebody who you be paying your tithes and offering and you do it in that way. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. Everything the karmic be sending me, y'all, I be seeing it. I be seeing it go down. God be letting me see it. He lets me see them. Like I see them. I be seeing the witches flying around on the broom. I be seeing a whole up lot. Like it's a coven of them. They be congregating at night when I'm asleep. Y'all, this morning, somebody tried to call me. I mean, somebody tried to, I said call because somebody just called me. But this morning, somebody was trying to talk to me while I was asleep. And when, as I was waking up, I heard what they were saying. They was like, if you could have both of them. And then they was like, hold on. Because <laughs> I had woke up. You know what I'm saying? So I told the Lord, I said, Father God, whatever it is, they just tried to speak into my spirit or question me about. I said, Lord, cancel it out. I rebuke it right now. Y'all got to wake up like that every single day. Do you hear me? You got to wake up and cancel out the plan of the enemy immediately. When you open your eyes, when you come to consciousness in the morning, when you wake up, I, trust me and watch it transform your life. Start canceling out the plan of the enemy immediately. Before you take a phone call, before you start scrolling on Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, social media, YouTube, whatever, before you pick up your phone, before you roll over and say good morning to the love of your life, okay? Before you wake your children up for school, cancel out the plan of the enemy. 
tell them, look, Lord, if it wasn't in alignment with you and your highest and greatest good over my life, I hand it over to you. Matter of fact, everything that was sent to me last night while I was sleeping, here you go, God, give it to him, sacrifice it, sacrifice it. This is called pain. This, oh, oh, this is your sacred practice. That's when y'all are going to get this read. This is not going to be what they don't want you to know. It is what they don't want you to know, but this is a sacred practice that they don't want you to know about. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because I was like, where the sacred practice is at? Because I hadn't did one, okay? I hadn't written it down. I don't have one planned for y'all, but here it is. This is your sacred practice. This is going to be your read for Wednesday. I'm going to push the ones I have scheduled for Wednesday. I'm going to push them back, okay? Um, so your reading for Wednesday will be this. This is your sacred practice. Every single morning when you wake up and you open your beautiful brown eyes, pretty brown eyes, okay, or blue eyes or green eyes, gray eyes, hazel eyes, whatever color eyes you got, when you open them up in the morning, cancel out the energy that the enemy has sent you the night before, okay? Cancel it and then sacrifice it. Pay your tithes and offerings, spiritually speaking. Sacrifice that energy. You're not going to lose nothing. You have everything to gain, okay? Sacrifice that energy. Hand that energy over to the divine. Hand it right on over to the divine. Do you hear me? Okay? Hand it over to the divine because there's some people that sending you some energy that you know about and they can't figure out how you know about it because that's the other thing. So the sacred practice involves you canceling out that energy, sacrificing it, paying your tithes and offerings, whether it's good energy or bad, give it to God. Let him dictate what it is that you're supposed to have for that day. Let him dictate your portion. Okay. Come through, spirit, because you you came through. Come through, spirit, because a lot of these enemies, they wishing that you'll wake up in lack. They're wishing that you don't have enough, okay? They, they hoping and praying for this for you, okay? So you need to pray, okay, and sacrifice it over to God. Let him pour into you what he wants. You see this angel, excuse her privacy area, okay? But you see this angel, she's pouring one cup into the water and one cup into the land. This is going to be how God is going to work for you when you sacrifice that energy, when you pay your tithes and offerings, sacred practice style, okay? What is going to end up happening is God is going to pour the portion that's for you onto land. The portion that's on, on that's not, he's going to give it back to Mother Earth. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or vice versa, take it, whichever one you want to resonate with, whether he's pouring a cup in the land or he's pouring a cup in the water. But one of them, he's going to pour out to be recycled. And the other one, he's going to pour into you. That's your sacred practice for this week, Okay. When you wake up and you open your eyes, tell God, God, here you go. I, I offer up. I give you all the energy that was sent to me while I was asleep or awake. The previous day's energy, Father God, I offer it to you, Lord. I give it to you. Delegate. Ration my portion to me the way you see fit, Lord. Tell them like that. That's your sacred practice. Because I'm telling you, it be people that be wishing on you while you dreaming about stars and, and sheep and counting sheep and all of that and snoring and calling all the hogs in. Y'all know how y'all be doing. Y'all be snoring loud as hell. I know. But while y'all doing that, okay, it's some people that's wishing that you'd be wounded. But see, what God is about to do is he's going to pour into you what you're supposed to. He's going to pour fulfillment into your life. It's going to make them even more mad, okay? They're going to be angry. they already angry because some of y'all already know this, do this sacred practice. You already know this. And you're bringing towers to the lives of your enemy, to those that have these unfortunate plans for you, okay? You're already bringing tower moments to them just by knowing this, just by operating out of this sacred practice, all right? Or this is what you will be doing when you start to do this, when you start to implement this in your life. Offer it all to God. Sacrifice it all. Lord, whether it's good. Somebody could be sending you some beautiful energy. I have subscribers all the time. Thank y'all for that energy. Y'all be sending me love and light. You guys be sending me all the love in the world. And I thank you guys for that. What I do with it, I take it and I give it to God. I be like, here you go, God. Give me what I'm supposed to have. And I guarantee you, you think you're going to come up short, but you're not. God is going to bless you. He's going to give you more than what you think you are supposed to have. He's going to anoint you with more than what you think you are worthy of. Okay? Okay, y'all don't play. Do not play with God. <laughs> and I tell him the truth. Yes, I am. King of Swords. King of Swords out here to back it up. Y'all some wise, intelligent, intellectual beings. Yeah, conversation. It is what uh, uh, ignites you. Intelligence is what motivates you. Wisdom, it inspires you guys. 
Y'all get turned on by knowledge. Okay? I get turned on by knowledge. I get turned on by a smart individual, somebody who's intellectual, somebody who can match my fly. That turns me on. Okay? All right? But God is like, this is your sacred practice for this week, y'all. I'm going to keep doing the read. So what else don't they want my viewers to know about this sacred practice? What else, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Father God. It turns their world upside down. The seven of swords in the reverse. Okay? It makes it to where they, it, 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 it blocks the plans and the tricks of the enemy. Everything they be strategizing and plotting and planning against you, it don't work. It blocks it. When you give it to God, God, let me tell you what he does. He did it this morning. Because <laughs> some energy that they sent me, I'm telling you, I woke up, I heard them talking. I heard the enemy talking in my ear. It wasn't the voice of God. I can discern the voice of God. It wasn't my voice. I can discern my voice. It was the voice of the enemy. They was on a microphone trying to talk to me, okay, while I was asleep, trying to project into my dreams and things like that. Yes, they can do that, okay? I'm going to do a reading one day, and I'm going to tell y'all all the ways um, that you can recognize psychic attack and spiritual warfare, okay? Things that I have personally experienced in ways that I know the enemy be using to try to get to me, okay? I'm going to share that with y'all one day, okay? Y'all wait on it. It's coming. But look, let me tell you. I gave it to God this morning, and when I did, he took it and he smashed it against the wall. <laughs> it was an egg. He took the egg and he died. Okay, he smashed it against the wall and the yoke just fell out. I was like, ugh, whatever they was trying to send me, it ain't going nowhere. It's cracked, it's smashed. Okay, it's annihilated. All right, that's what God wants to do for you through this sacred practice. High priestess, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all listen to y'all intuition. Y'all intuition is be on fire. Little sparks and stuff be flying and going on. You guys are highly like the ignite. You guys are ignited. Okay, man. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm telling you to change your life. It will change your life. It will level you up. The will of fortune. It will change your life. But I'm telling you will change your destiny. It will change your fate. It will also change the fate of those that's trying to harm you. Because guess what that energy got to do? It got to go somewhere. It's going to be recycled. This is you transmitting the energy. Trans excuse me. Muting the energy. Okay. This is y'all transmuting that energy. All right, the Ten of Pentacles, you'll end up winning. You'll be fortunate. Damn, the Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Ten of Cups. Well, thank you. Yes. Yes, y'all. This is 10 10 energy, but it's the bet, it's the tens you want. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want them ten of swords and we dang sure don't want them ten wands. We don't want to be burdened and we don't like to see no, 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 no harsh, hard closings or endings this is this is the tens you want this sacred practice is going to bring you the tens that you want the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles this this ten this energy this sacred practice will bring you wealth and abundance do you understand they gonna hate this your haters gonna hate this sacred practice they gonna hate that i'm even telling y'all about this sacred practice you'll be like this wench <laughs> But I'm giving you life, okay? I'm speaking life into you, okay? I'm speaking life into those that I cherish and love. I'm speaking life into those that'll come and listen, okay? Y'all need to know this. This is what I'm here for, okay? This is what 